turn now to a look at the forecast. You know what, the pool is looking really nice right about now. That smoke is finally cleared. We're tracking though some possible storms in the forecast. Maddie Kirker right here with me and we can get to the storms, but isn't it nice that the air is a bit clearer? It's so much clearer, easier to breathe outside. And honestly, today is a good day to be out at the pool. Let's uh, take you out live. You know, you're not going to get a lot of sun, but of course you still want to lather up as you're heading out to the pool. We're coming in with dry conditions now with our 10 TV tower cam and the remainder of the day today looks generally dry. High temperatures should soar to the upper 80s later this afternoon and then we'll be nice and toasty as we head in towards this evening. Heat index for today again. This is what it's going to actually feel like more like the 90s, especially as we go through from 4 to 5 to 6 through 7 o'clock this evening. That's when you'll really want to have uh, your AC cranked up a little bit as we go through the day today. Now, let's transition to what we're tracking for the holiday weekend. There are so many things happening for the weekend, and it does look likely we're going to be tracking several rounds of showers and thunderstorms, both on Saturday and then again on Sunday. Now, by Monday, which we have events going on Monday, Day, only a 20% chance of rain. Same story as we had into Tuesday. So the two days that I'm really watching Saturday and Sunday. With that said, you know, some storms could be on the stronger side. And here's the science between why the biggest reason is we're kind of living on the edge. We've got these storm systems developing off to the north with steering winds. They dive southward and as they dive to the south, they increase their intensity so they can become quite strong. And that's what we're looking at for both Saturday and Sunday with high winds and hail, some of the biggest threats that we're looking at. Here are the severe weather impacts that you and your family need to know about. Again, large hail and straight line winds, damaging winds going to be the biggest threats. Now, one other thing we'll be watching out for as we go into the weekend is tornadoes. Now that threat is low, but it's not zero. So we want you to be weather aware for both Saturday and Sunday. Let's first start with Saturday. You can see most of the area is under that likely category of seeing strong to severe storms. Remember that conveyor belt as we're kind of riding around that ridge. Here's another storm system riding up into Iowa that'll be diving southward as we go through this evening. Now, thankfully, it does look like this one's going to be falling apart, but there's plenty more energy up the pipeline down there in the southeastern corner of Colorado. All of this lifts to the north and moves right over Ohio. So that's why we kind of have an active weather pattern as we go into the weekend. All right, timeline is tricky because these types of systems, they can move in quick, they can move in slow. So again, if you do see a thunderstorm as we head into the weekend, just know it could be strong to severe. I would not be taking this model completely by uh, the Bible, but we are looking at, as you can see, as we head into this evening, we should be dry. Here's tomorrow morning. Make sure you watch Wake Up Sea Bus with Madison Reich. She will be tracking these storms as they move through tomorrow morning. There's the potential for storms early on, and then as we go through Saturday, Saturday afternoon, we get the heating of the day. We get more scattered showers and storms popping on up. So it is going to be off and on heading into the holiday weekend. Any storm that develops, that's the biggest thing to know, could be strong to severe. So if you're out at the beach or out at the pool, just know that we are going to be having, of course, uh, the chances for strong to severe storms for both Saturday and Sunday. And then notice by the 4th of July, we are going to dry things out. We'll